Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today we are going to be making Turkish coffee using an automatic Turkish coffee machine. The one I own is the Arzum Okaminio. These are pretty rare devices. They're made mostly by Turkish companies. I bought mine in Turkey a couple of years ago. Uh, but you can also find them on Amazon and they're made for European voltages 220. But you can also find 110 volt versions if you are in the United States. And I love, I love Turkish coffee oldest form of coffee making in existence. Now, what you're going to need for Turkish coffee is typically light roast are preferred, although you can use a mixture of light roast and dark roast beans if that works better for you. Um, I'm using a light roast here and I'm gonna show you the various ways you can do this. The first is the manual method. This is gonna be hand grinding the beans using a Turkish coffee grinder. Now, the weird thing about Turkish is that because it's such a fine grind, it's actually easier to do it by hand than with machine, you, you need to have a specific commercial burr grinder capable of doing Turkish coffee, otherwise it just won't get it fine enough. So if I grind them myself, I use this little hand grinder. It's also from a Turkish company called Sozin. You can find these on uh, eBay and they are uh, considered really, really good. It's a family owned business. So just load up your coffee beans using your hand almost to the top or close close to the top then you want to pop the lid on and it's just a little crank mechanism the cool thing is that the fineness can be adjusted directly in this machine if you like um, so you can make it slightly finer or slightly more coarse now it's a good uh, workout as you can see depending on the quantity of beans you're grinding it's going to take you between two or three minutes and the good thing of course is that <clears throat> nothing really beats the taste of freshly ground beans now you don't have to buy a uh, you know this metal one you can also there are manual grinders on amazon that will do turkish but again an espresso grinder is not good enough turkish is finer than espresso so make sure that you're buying gear specifically for turkish coffee so here is the fruits of my cranking this is uh it collects in that little basin at the bottom and uh then i'm just gonna pour it in so you guys can see what the coffee that comes out of it looks like it's super super fine as i said it's supposed to be finer than espresso it's kind of a flower like consistency if you dip uh if you put one of your fingers in uh you know you're gonna get a little few powder uh spludges but it, you shouldn't be seeing any grains now here's an interesting chart i pulled up from uh, the internet from modern process equipment showing exactly how fine authentic turkish coffee is it's considerably more fine than espresso so again you need to buy so if you want to go as pre-ground coffee this is coffee from izzy man in jerusalem which is my favorite coffee store here i always write down the date i bought it so i can consume it reasonably quickly um, now, if you don't have a Arab store in your area, you can or order from eBay. This is Mehmed Effendi, which is, I think, the oldest form of pre-ground coffee in the world. It's a Turkish company again. Or you can also find in your, if you have an Arabic supermarket, Middle Eastern supermarket, they're very fond of putting cardamom in their coffee. So you might find products like this. And uh, again, so if you can either grind it yourself or buy pre-ground. Now, the traditional method for uh, brewing Turkish coffee is on a fire or on a stove using a finjan or a sesva or an ibrik those are just words in arabic and turkish for this device but um i personally much prefer the the uh, the automated modern method using the arzum oka minio you can find more simple versions of this the more elaborate versions and ones that don't even have the automatic cutoff the way this works is that when the foam rises it tips off the sensor and then it stops so i'm just going to go ahead now and plug in my arzum device and it works really, really quickly. So what I do is I measure out water in my coffee cup and then I measure out one uh, tablespoon of ground coffee, whether I'm using pre-ground or freshly ground. This wasn't quite uh, one tablespoon, so I just added a little bit more. And uh, I like my coffee this strong. I don't like sugar in my coffee, but you can put sugar directly into this uh, contraption if that's the type of coffee you prefer. So I've just added, I'm just gonna give it a quick stir, and then all you literally need to do is fit the uh, the, the electric finjan into the thing and then press the button at the top. And the process, it's a very small quantity of water, of course, so the process happens really quickly. You're gonna start smelling coffee, you're gonna see some steam rising, and then it beeps a few times, and that's the automatic uh, cutoff. Now, traditionally, when you're making Turkish coffee on the stove, it's common to uh, have it come to the boil two times. <clears throat> if you like that, you can just hit the button twice. And this is how it comes freshly off the off the cooking process. I'm just gonna pour some into my uh, cup. And uh, as I said, you can fit about four 
demi tasse cups uh, into this uh, contraption so uh, you can use it if you're having a little coffee party and uh, this is what it is this is exactly how I like my Turkish coffee very strong very short very bitter uh, but uh, this is uh, my preference for coffee and if you want to be a bit more fancy you can of course put it on a little uh, coaster and uh, I also collect these cups um, I have quite a variety of them. Now, when you bring Turkish coffee, just remember the grounds are going to collect in the bottom. You don't drink all the way through and you can just dispose of what remains into your uh, trash can or whatever. Hope this uh, little video was uh, was worth your five minutes. If you're thinking about buying the Arzum Oka Minio, I've had mine. I've actually bought a couple. I've had them for two, three years and they've been absolutely fantastic. Use them pretty much every single day. Thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon to this YouTube channel.